You're never gonna catch us. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Oops, uh, sorry, pal. I uh, gotta run. Cuphead. Um, yeah, sorry, pal. I don't wanna be it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, Cuphead, we're kind of running out of places to run. I got a place Charles is never going to go. Come on, Muggs. <sighs> <sighs> uh. Boys. Where'd you guys go? Boys. He's never going to find us up here, Muggsy. <laughs> Cuphead, I think, I think, I think we're, a little, we're a little high right now. Come on, Muggsy, you ain't afraid of heights. It's not like you're gonna die today or anything. Whoa, wind's picking up, ain't it? Man, that wind gust is getting strong, huh? Huh? A great look what you did, Muggsy. She saw us. Doesn't matter. You're never coming up here, Chalice. You're too. Muggsy, you're joking me. Uh, did you guys forget I could do this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about that. Ooh, which one of you are gonna be it? <laughs> We're gonna fall in shells. It's gonna make one of us sit and it's not gonna be good. Okay, Muggs, we just gotta get down. Uh, yeah, actually, maybe we are gonna get tagged. <laughs> oh, it'd be a shame if I just. <gasps> I was not a begging you! You boys are too easy. You should know I take tag very seriously. Hey, Garrett. Oh, I hate you. This is exactly the reason why you never make me it. It's just too easy for me. Ugh, Muggsy, you okay? Yeah. By a miracle. So, what do you boys want to do now? Maybe die. Come on, don't tell me you're tapped out for the day already. Uh, maybe if you didn't blow us off of like a 20 foot tall tree or whatever that is. There's gotta be something interesting we can do around here. I don't know. There's a couple sticks over there, a rock, a beehive. Oh, a beehive! What's so interesting about a beehive? Mugsy, you don't know? It's because beehives got honey in them. Yeah, Mugs, the delicious honey that, you know, uh, we eat with like uh, pancakes and stuff in the morning. Yeah, but like, isn't that dangerous? Don't bees got them stingers on them and they can sting you and go bzzz and dump boop, And then you, you know, you, you, it hurts a lot? Ah, we can tough them out. Besides, all our heads are made of porcelain. They can't stick through porcelain. But what about our arms and our legs and the entire rest of our body? Tough it off, will ya? Ooh, there's the beehive. Alrighty, everyone pick a hole. Where did you get those? I always carry three spoons on us. How'd you think we ate the mushrooms at one time? We ate mushrooms? Oh, it must have hit it way hotter than it hit the rest of us. Eh, don't worry about it. Wait, Cuphead! What, Chalice? I'm just saying, I kind of understand Muggsy's point. Sometimes bees are angry. Why don't we lure a bear over here and let it eat the honey? Then we'll know for sure. Mm, but what if it starts eating too much of it? Scare it away with our spoons, which can double as weapons. Ow. Well, at least you proved it on yourself. Mm. All right, Chalice, not a bad idea. I understand Muggsy's paranoia. All right, Muggsy, do your bear call. Oh, I've been waiting to do this. Oh my god. And the honey. And we hive. <laughs> It's just disturbing to watch. All right, well, we proved there's no bees in there. Get out of here. Bam, bam. <laughs> All right, time to eat. Here's my first bite. Spoon. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh, man, Muggs, you should get to try this. It's delicious. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess if you two is eating it and that bear got by fine, then all right. Oh, this stuff is good. <laughs> Got some more flowers. I don't know why I bring them here. It's probably very inefficient. Then again, I guess bringing a you know plentiful flower population over here next to my hive would be a good idea. All right, my four beautiful children. All right, time to pollinate. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Oh yeah, pollinating! Oh yeah! <sighs> what is happening over there? 
Ugh. I think we emptied out the honey, fellas. You're telling me. <laughs> that was pretty great, Cuphead. That's best idea y'all's head. Thanks, we try. So, uh, can you tell me what you three are doing? Nothing, Miss B. We just uh, ate all this honey and this hive. Uh, wait a minute. B! Uh, and I own this hive! Did you three just eat all the honey in my hive? No. The what? Us? With these spoons? No. We didn't do that. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's any honey in here. It's like ripped dry. Uh, no. But you know what? Whatever. What if it was us, huh? You and what army, huh? Yo, what's going on? <gasps> Mom, did they take our honey? I think they did. Um. Uh, run! Finally got all my long limbs untangled. <gasps> oh, no! I'm a storage monkey, we gotta go! Ah, please! At least those kids are finally getting what's coming to them. <sighs> oh god! I gotta get it! Oh boys, I think this might be it! I love you guys! <laughs> Sick of kids! <laughs> Are you all okay? Yeah, Mom, we good. Good thing bees don't die when they stink things in this world, huh? Yeah. All right, well, um, happy you all got your fill. M M Mama's gonna get a thing, too. Ow! <laughs> ah! All right, let's go home. So we're gonna have to go make more honey, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. By everything. Oh. That might be the worst idea we've ever had. I didn't think the bees weren't just gonna not be home. I guess we kind of forgot that part where they have to go pollinate. Cuphead, don't let me do stupid stuff like that again. You know, Chalice, as idly selfish as would be, you're kind of stupid. Why? You just turned into your ghost form that wouldn't have been able to sting you. Shut up! Muggsy, you doing okay? Muggsy? Muggsy, why are you making funny sounds from your mouth? Did you eat too much honey? Muggsy? I can't believe it. I don't get what's going on. I can't communicate this. Cuphead, I think Mugman's having an allergic reaction. Wait, seriously? Muggsy, no! I didn't know he was allergic to bees! But Chalice, do we got an EpiPen? Cuphead, it's the 1930s! EpiPens don't exist! Oh, no! Uh, I think Muggsy's dead. Uh-oh. Uh. <sighs> Where in the hell am I? Well, it's a good thing you decided to answer your own question within your question. Uh. Who are you? Wh what? You? Okay, first of all, welcome to hell! You're dead! What? I I'm dead? There's no way I'm dead. Well, of course you're dead. You died because you got stung by a bunch of bees. And, uh, let me read your chart here. You are uh, apparently allergic to them. And since EpiPens don't exist yet in this time period, uh, you died. Because you, there was no way to cure it. Man, the fact that I not only died, but also went to hell? What the heck? Yes, wh why didn't you just say hell again? Whatever. Anyway, yes! Granted, you probably would have went to heaven if you didn't... You know, steal that entire family of bees' supply of honey. Trust me, if your brother and that chalice girl died, they would be down here too. Oh, no. Anyway, I am the devil! Welcome to hell. I said that already. There's, there's only so many things the devil can say that makes sense. The devil? i never seen you before. Do you not remember? When we did the whole thing in my casino, you rolled the die, you got snake eyes, then I went, ah, you got to go get all of the souls for me. You remember that? I, I hate to tell you, devil, uh, we rebooted the series since then. That didn't happen. We're following the plots of the Cuphead show, where it's a prequel. That's why all the voices changed. I don't know if you picked up on that. You're stupid. Oh! Yes, I guess it would explain why I met that Chef Salt guy, and I... I found him and I recruited him into my lead. I got keys. Anyway, none of that matters anyway because now you're here in hell. I'm going to torture you forever because I hold a personal grudge that got decanonized. Oh, yes, yeah, just. <coughs> <coughs> I 
hell? Why would you do that? I'm torturing you! I haven't done this in a while. It's not been personal. Usually I just get my demon subject to do it for me. Dad, Mr. Dice, King Dice, can you come over here? Hey, sorry, boss. I just got uh, another another dead thing here. Uh, but what do you need? Yes, well, this kid, um, I need to torture him. I forgot how to do it. Can you teach me? There's no way you forgot how to torture things. And I, I kind of did, considering the fact that, you know, I, I, I usually I let all my demon friends do it, and they just, they just didn't. Can I go home? Buddy, this is hell. You're dead. This is just the rest of eternity for you. No, no. I don't want to be... I want to go home. My elder kettle's going to be so mad if I'm not back before curfew. I... I... How... I got to process this in your head, buddy. This is hell. You are in hell. You're dead. You're not going home. They can't come find you. This is it, buddy. Wake up! I'm telling this to a child. This feels a little immoral. They're literally in hell! It doesn't matter if it's immoral or not! I don't know, should we be just torturing a kid? Like, yeah, he he's down here, but like... I don't know, there's a lot that can get you into hell nowadays. According to a lot of different religions. Why are we debating the entirety of morality on this child? Because it's a child, like, like... Heck, don't they say that most, like, babies and very young kids go to heaven anyway because they aren't old enough to commit any sin that they could pray for? This is still like a 12-year-old kid. He could very easily pray if he wanted to. I don't know, babe, buddy, you go to church? You ever been to church? I don't think we got those in Inkwell Isle. We had, like, mausoleums and stuff, but I don't think we got church. See? <laughs> this is why I need to build churches. This is God's doing, not mine. I'm just here to give the punishments. I don't make the rules. Boss, just borderline, I don't feel comfortable torturing a child. Oh, my God! This entire episode, we could have called it Mugman Goes to Hell. It would have been funnier that way. But no, we have to call it Mugman's Allergy because YouTube's demonetizing systems. I hate you, Susan. Oh, wait, she's not in charge anymore. I hate you, new guy. New guy, you suck. I don't know who you are. I don't bother to remember your name because you're nothing. You're nothing. Nobody likes you. You're boring. I'm going to blame all of my problems on you. <clears throat> yeah. So what do you like to do for fun? Today we're here to celebrate the life of my poor brother who died due to a lack of modern medicine. Ow! That girl was so young. Mugman died so young. Even younger than me because his birthday hasn't happened yet. I'm gonna miss him. And all his funny jokes and how he got sad. There's even memories from this very video. Like us at the top of that weird pole thing. Falling off. Hitting the ground. Eating the honey together. Running away from the bees. Getting stung by the bees. Oh god, that's how we died! Oh. Okay, come back. It's okay. We'll get past this. How could I get past my brother? I'm never going to be able to get him back. Unless I, you know, went and found him or something. Oh my god. I got it! Huh? What is it, Cuphead? I know how to get my man back! You? What is it? I'll be right back! Something tells me he's not coming back. <sighs> this is boring. I don't like kicking people anymore. So you're gonna let me go? No! In fact, I think I'm just gonna throw you in the pit of fire down there! Ah, what the heck? I just noticed that! Yeah, I know, right? It shows up very conveniently. <laughs> oh, hey, other cup brother. Other cup brother? Uh, mm. What's happening? Oh, what's up, Dice? Oh, you're the guy we scammed. Whatever, that stupid statue was made of chocolate anyway. In fact, I scammed you guys, technically. But you did get me beat up! I'm surprised I'm just now noticing that. Despite the fact that Mugman's been here this entire time. Yeah, well, be shut up. Alright, time to throw you in the fires of hell! Ah! Mugman! Uh, eat dog! Goat! Ooh, ow! What the heck, man? What was that for? Ugh, I'm gonna herd you like a sheepdog, like a goat. Get over here. Wait, no, get over- Ew, I hate dogs! Uh, you're gonna stay over here like a goat. Ooh, ah. 
Um, but uh, guys, get me out of here! Uh, 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 I don't. What? Um, yeah, get yeah, doggy. Come here. I'll give you pets. Uh, no, I'm on my job. <laughs> Cuphead, you came to save me. Of course, brother. What did I do without you? I got so sad when you was gone. I missed you and your porcelain face. Cuphead, you get the same porcelain face that I do. Can you stop rubbing it? Okay. Well, uh. Now he's taking care. Let's go home. Ah, uh, how? All right, Mutt, you're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, get this dog away from me! Uh, and since we're both gonna be here for all eternity together, you're gonna be stuck here forever, devil. Because uh, I'm a dog, and I'm keeping you safe and keeping you not hurting you. <laughs> <laughs> you two, help me right now! Mm, how about we strike a deal, devil? Yeah, that's me shaking my butt in your face. Don't fart on me! Ugh, what are your terms? Take me and my brother up to the to the to Inkwell Isle, to the, up, the upper world, and uh, I'll get the dog off you. <sighs> Fine, I guess I will. Hey, dog! Hmm? Listen to stupid cop. Um, I, I don't know why you need to tell him to do that. Yeah, come, come on, come on, <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Ah, finally, freedom! As per the demon code, I have to vow your stupid privileges. Where'd they go? You made my owner go away. Oh no! Uh, jump scare for that too! Ha! Ah, that was morbid, but I did it. I'm gonna go get coffee. I'm alive! Oh my god, Mugman! You're alive! Oh my god! Cuphead saved me! I was in hell and then I met the devil and then I was alive again because Cuphead came down and saved me! Oh, Mugman, it's so good to have you back. Never letting you near bees ever again. At least until modern medicine comes along. Which might not be for another like 50 years or so. Which one was the EpiPen invented? Yeah, the 1970s. Uh, it's you too bright to see, but yeah, they, they 40 years. Give it about 40 years and then, and then you can go near bees, I guess. So how'd you guys kill Cuphead to get him to come down? Uh, he's gotta be in a safe spot, right? What? Yeah, you know, it's like, I mean, the only reason I'm alive right now is because my spirit re-entered my body, and, you know, my body had to be in good condition in order for that to happen. Where's Cuphead? Uh, I didn't watch that happen. Cuphead didn't even tell us what he was going to go do. <laughs> hey, uh, well, the kettle, I didn't know you were cooking a casserole. What casserole?